Hello guys, welcome. Hello guys, welcome back to Digi Classes. And today we are going to discuss about an important topic of microeconomics that is budget line. And it is related with the previous concept that is indifference curve. And the link is given in the description box. So here starts that so we are going to discuss about definition of budget line, shape of budget line, equation of budget line, then slope of budget line, and then budget constraint, and finally change of budget line. So start with the definition of budget line. So here is the definition of budget line. It represents all the bundles of two goods which a consumer can buy with his given income and prices of the two goods. So let's understand this with, with the help of a with the help of an example. Suppose you are consuming two commodities that is good X and good Y and uh, the price of good X is rupees 5 and price of good Y is rupees 10 and your income level is and your income level which we are representing here with the help of M is rupees 100. So in the definition we already assume that the income of the consumer is given and the prices of the two goods is given. So here the price is good, price of good X is rupees 5 and price of good Y is rupees 10 and your income level is rupees 100. Now with this given information suppose the consumer is consuming 6 units of 6 units of good X then Price of good X, 6 units of good X, then he is spending 30 rupees in good X. He still have 70 rupees. So he can purchase 7 units of good Y with his given income that is rupees 100. So if we add this 5 into 6 plus 10 into 7, we get 100. And by using this, here P is equal to x, 5 into to be x, c represents the quantity of good x that you have purchased. So it is qx plus 10y equals to here 10 equals to by that means price of good y and 7 represents qy equals to 100 means m. So This is the Px Qx plus Py Qy equals to M. So this is the equation of the budget line. And it can be written in this way Px dot x plus Py dot y equals to M. Now the shape of the indifference, sorry, the shape of the budget line. The shape of the budget line is a negative sloping straight line. Suppose here on x axis we take good x and on y axis we take good Y. Here it is the income level of the consumer represented by the AB line. So this is the shape of the budget line. So the question arises why the shape of the budget line is a negative sloping curve. So suppose with the given income the consumer is consuming this amount of good X and this amount of good Y. Now, if the consumer wants to consume more of good X, suppose here more of good X, then what happens? Then he has to sacrifice this amount of good Y to get an extra unit of good X. And that is why the slope of the budget line is negative. 
and the slope can be determined by the following formula that is px by p y so it is not it is notable that the slope of the budget line is negative and we can find it with the help of this formula that is minus px by p y so we get that the equation of budget line px dot px equals to py dot y equals to m so now the one another concept that is what is the constraint of budget line or what is budget constraint the budget constraint states the limitation of your income level or your limitation of your budget it represents that suppose your budget line is is here a b so a budget constraint is refers this area it means that you have you can purchase any one combination of this area from this area and it can be shown by the equation that is px dot x plus py dot y which should be less or equal to than m it means that your income level should be equal or less to your budget which you are going to consume or purchase okay So now we are going to discuss about the change of budget line, how a budget line changes. So now we are going to discuss about how a budget line changes. So a budget line basically changes for three reasons. So if the price of good X changes, if the price of good Y changes, or if the income level of the consumer who is purchasing the commodities changes. So First, we are going to discuss about uh, the first case. We assume that if the price of good X changes. Now, this is the normal shape of a budget line. Suppose we are assuming that this is budget line of consumer. So, if the price of good X fall, then the shape of the budget line will become this. Suppose it is AB dash. It means that the consumer can purchase more of good X with his given income due to fall the price of good X. Now, in another case, if the price of good X rises, then the budget line will shift in inwards or in the left side. Suppose this B double dash, A B double dash. It means that the consumer can purchase less of good Y from the earlier because of the rise in price good X so this is the first case and now in case of second that is if the price of good Y changes then what happens this is the normal shape of budget line if the price of good y fall then what happens the consumer can purchase more of good y with his limited income or if the if the price of good y if the price of good y rises then what happens the consumer can purchase less of good Y while the price of good X remains same. So this is the shape changes how when the prices of the two commodities changes. Now in the third case we assume that if the income of the consumer, income level of the consumer changes then what happens? is good x good y this is good x this is the normal shape of a budget line a b so now we assume that 
if the income of the consumer increases, then his purchasing power also increases and he will shift his budget line in the right side, suppose A dash, B dash. On the other hand, if the income level of the consumer decreases, then the budget line shifts in the left side. It means that his purchasing power has decreases. So these are the shape of the budget line or how a budget line change, changes. So hopefully you will understand the concept and if you are uh, watching this video so please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.